Did you know that trees can naturally grow on a blockchain and be a great source of vitamin D? Nope, they can't and I'm just kidding. This video is about a different kind of tree that exists all around in the world of computer science and blockchain. Welcome to Meet the Blocks, I'm Christian and today we're talking about trees. First off, what are we even talking about? Actual trees? No. The trees we're talking about are a way of organizing information. Let's look at a very basic tree to start off. The first data point, or root node, points to other nodes. These nodes are referred to as the children of the root node. When more data gets added, the root node's children will take on children of their own. As more data gets added, this structure will start to look more like a tree. Now you're probably asking yourself why. Why organize data this way? Well. Trees are just another way of storing data, and in certain cases, this can be very helpful. Let me show you an example. The way in which we add data to a tree can help us save time when trying to find certain data points. With the data we have, let's build a binary tree, or a tree where a node can have at most two children, and say that when we add a new data point, if it's greater than the node, it'll become the right child, and if it's less, the left child. Our first node, or root node, will have the value 50, and the next two data points, 20 and 100, will be their children. We'll make 100 the right child of 50 since it's greater, and 20 the left child since it's smaller. Now, let's store the last four values using the same logic. Since 5 is less than 50, we go to the left. Since 5 is less than 20, we go to the left again and make 5 the left child of 20. We use the same logic to place 23 as the right child of 20, 73 as the left child of 100, and 128 as the right child of 100. Now let's see what a simple search operation would look like with a tree versus a table. Let's try and find the 73 node. For the table, we would have to loop through all the values until we reach 73. In this case, this took 5 references to find 73 but it could take up to seven, depending on the number we search for. For the tree, since smaller values become the left child and larger values the right, we know that 73 will be to the right of 50 and to the left of 100. And right there, we just found the 73 node while only having to reference two nodes instead of four. At most, we would only ever have to reference two points to reach any of the seven data points in this tree. So, I'm sure you begin to see why trees are such a powerful tool. Trees take on many other shapes to accomplish a variety of tasks. In the world of blockchain, trees are used to turn long strings of transaction data into a single cryptographic hash everyone can compare. In the world of data science, trees can be built together into what's called a forest, another great way of storing data. Anyways, as I'm sure you can see by now, trees are a great tool to have in your coding toolbox.